Ah, uh, vast cheese, scurvy dogs, and welcome back to another episode of Starfleet Command. I'm Brad Swassmont. I am Rear Admiral Tarek of the Heavy Battle Cruiser Pfeiffer's Song, along with our single heavy cruiser, the Huntress. Sadly, the Pacer got blown up in the last mission. It was not very happy. We ran into a dreadnought and uh, had to get into a fight with it, which sadly, well, not sadly, we did win that fight, but uh, we did lose our wonderfully powerful uh, heavy cruiser, I guess. It was a CX-3, I do believe, armed with a PPD and a Hellbore. Nice little ship to have on board, but unfortunately it is now gone, so we are down to, once again, only two ships. And continuing to lay the pressure down here on 3-6, uh, which has just been resisting everything we're throwing at it. So we're coming back here and we're going to do another fight. We actually did kind of accomplish the convoy raid last time. Unfortunately, one ship got away and so they decided, no, you failed. Which uh, is a little bit stupid in my opinion, but it looks like this time... We've managed to get in the position where they are all coming towards us, and the only defender is a freighter who thinks that he's going to take us on. So I'm feeling reasonably confident. So we're just going to set our speed up to as maximum as we can. We'll get the reinforcements going. Uh, maximize that forward reinforcement right on there. And we're going to just head right in on them. Take them down as easily and as best as we can. We do, after all, have to make up for apparently a failed mission last time. I really just want to take this tile so that we can take the rest of the Tiger Heart Cartel tiles. Because as soon as we get that done, well, you know, we can finish and move on to greater and better things. So we're looking at FCRP. Yeah, he's armed with a single, a single expanding sphere generator, which uh, it could hurt our forward shield, but not so much. And then he's got four phaser twos and two phaser threes. Let's see if we can kill him in one shot. I think we've got a semi-decent chance of doing so. Yep, and we did. And we'll bounce that mine. Hi, we're just going to come in here and wipe out the rest of the fleet. So zip on here, maximum speed. Just going to get amongst them and blast everything. Got to go over here. Uh, go kill whatever you want, because they're not going to stop us. These all appear to be basically helpless freighters, so we should be able to take them on no problem at all. Let's fire from range 5, see if we can't kill Oh, absolutely. No trouble at all. Going to come in here with a close range weapon. Blast in there. Didn't kill him, but the stern firing ones also didn't kill him. You are surprisingly robust, sir. However, he's got him, so we're going to turn around into this. There's our last target. Just going to turn around on him. Just slam all the heavy weapons into him. Lava's path. I wouldn't have named a freighter that, but hey, uh, I'm not a freighter captain. Maybe we should do a campaign as a freighter captain. <laughs> I don't think that would work. But uh, you can actually buy freighters in this game. Nothing stops you from doing it. There's just no benefit to doing that, because this game, unfortunately, doesn't have any sort of more complex things that you can do when getting involved with the economics. Like, there is a pretty interesting economic sub-layer going on here, but nothing that you have any impact on. Uh, I'm just going to keep putting pressure on this planet here. Unfortunately, it, there's nothing there. Come on, keep putting the pressure down. Give me this sector of space. You will not deny me. Going to patrol, apparently. This could very well do it. There, this cartel defense is down to five. The Empire Defense is down to five. Why are you not coming over to my side? I'm trying to accomplish the standard winging condition that we normally set ourselves, which is basically wipe their tiles off the map, but I'm not entirely sure if the pirates can do that. So we're going to have to find out at some point in this campaign. Uh, kick up to full speed, come over here, reinforce the forward shields to a maximal level. Reinforce right there. We're going to go uh, an aggressive setup. We may swap this if we end up running into like a d dreadnought or something. And we're being escorted today by Fasting's Call, a uh, LRX armed with... Two missile launchers, two disruptors, and three phaser X's, so not very good. I suppose it's the upgraded version of this traditional super light frigate, the LRs, but uh, yeah, not a very good ship. Got a single heavy cruiser, is our current target out there. I think he's a carrier, possibly? He is an SALR, so not sure at all, actually. Let's just increase the speed of time, we'll find out shortly. He does have a larger hull form, which makes me think carrier instead of a normal heavy cruiser, but hey, could be wrong. And we'll drop down speed just so that we have uh, the actual amount of speed that we need to travel. He hasn't launched any fighters, so if he hasn't done it by now, he doesn't have any. So we're just going to get right on top of him and blast him with everything we have. He's got four missile launchers, two disruptors, uh, four phaser ones, and two phaser threes. So still kind of experiencing some shifts uh, back in this era with having these level of weaponry. Oh, this got a spook! And we did take the hit off through the shield because we fired all of our point defense weaponry into him. That did knock his speed down pretty considerably. He's below eight and still tumbling uh are you in a flat out stop yeah he, he just doesn't have any energy anymore the poacher so uh basically at our mercy we're just going to circle around here come back to his open side and lay into him with as much firepower as we can i want to kill him. thank you so now let's be time back to normal because mission accomplished everything was successful unfortunately we did take a little bit of damage which is not grand 
because we can't fix ourselves, so we have to go back home. Although, when we're working from working from the pirate perspective, you almost always have a star base to go back to. So 102 prestige, pop back here, and then we're going to go supply, fix up 22 and 57. So that has really been taxing us, because the ship automatically takes damage for what I can see is no reason at all. And so we constantly are losing about 70-something prestige every time we do a repair action, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, once again, the Fastening Skull is still with us as we go into a frigate, a frigate, a frigate, a frigate, a frigate, and a light cruiser. So let's go back to this light cruiser, because you're obviously the most dangerous target. Full speed ahead, and full speed of time ahead. That way we can just get on in there. They have detected us. I would be a little bit concerned if they hadn't. Not from any, like, super important thing, but seriously, we're, we are a gigantic space monster. Look at us from their perspective. We're huge. So, uh, that's an MD-5X. That's a, believe that's a drone cruiser? Might be wrong. It is on the D5 hull, but uh, it does have the M prefix. Not quite sure what it means, but again, think it's a drone cruiser. Could be wrong. Don't think of am. I think Fasting's Call should be a little bit... Oh, no, it's not. It's a mauler. I didn't realize that the Klingons had maulers this small. That's pretty interesting. And there it goes. One of the uh, small ships as Fasting's Call suddenly forgets what it needs to do before getting back involved in the fight. Wait for it. Quite short range. Everything we got. 121 foot. Now we got it. And we're just going to drift around. In fact, I'm going to come over here and tell uh, Huntress, go do whatever you feel like. We're just going to kill everything as best as we can. So we'll crunch you down, and then you're my next target. Point close range with the Gatling phasers. Swing around to the stern firing weapon. That got him. The last target is an E4BR. Uh, yeah, you're a little bit out of time. Long range fire. May as well. It's going to take us a little while to get back into the fight because, you know, we circle around. And we're quite fast. I mean, we can travel at a speed of 25 as normal. There's no... We need to slow down for charging things, or we need to cut the phaser capacitor to do this. We just zip around at maximum speed. We're a drone cruiser, essentially, in terms of speed. Except, you know, we have phaser force. 300 prestige for that. That'll be nice. Pop here, and then wait for it, wait for it. Oh, oh, apparently we've got a diplomat that we must go on. Never a fun mission to do, but one that must be done. Although sometimes, you know, we can do, like, drive-by diplomat. That's going to be interesting. Am I going to have a diplomat on board the ship? Let's check. Yes, we do have the diplomat on the ship, okay. So, uh, he's currently hanging out on the wing in a spacesuit, hoping that he doesn't fall off. Uh, there is no enemies right now, just a beautiful conference planet. And our friend, of course, the uh, Huntress. So, let's just kick out the speed of time to maximum, because eventually the enemy shall reveal themselves, unless they destroy themselves on the planet, which we've seen happen before. It's hilarious, but uh, not very common. So, waiting on sensors. Let's see if we can't find the enemy. You know what? I'm just going to come in here. Let's charge the deep scan. We have the points of energy for it anyway. Just going to see as much as we possibly can. He may have spawned behind the planet. That is a possibility. But this could very well just be an open an open mission. So, not seeing anything as of yet. But I'm willing to allow for things to change. As we zip along at our maximum speed. We're going to have to try and avoid hitting the planet. Hitting the planet is, of course, very bad. It is one of the few things in this game that actually has a collision thing to actually run into. Planets, asteroids, uh, black holes, and that's about it. So still no enemy on this map, which is interesting. So we're just going to get right on in here. And we're going to slow down the speed of time, just so I don't smash it. Uh, 30 seconds. We can we can continue to zip along at full power. Start cutting the engines. Slow down the speed of time. Wow, we actually have really good throttle response. Uh, we are close enough, so let's go click you. Energize. Diplomat has arrived safely on the planet. Not seeing any enemies. So, the enemy is somewhere around here. Okay, let's pick up the speed. Should turn off the cam lock so I can actually see where I'm going. Because I don't want to smash into, you know, the planet. That would be bad. Let's increase the speed of time and try and avoid hitting planets. Planets avoided. And that's pl successful planetary avoidance, I think. Just give it a little bit of extra space. I don't want to crash into anything. And also maximum power. Keep scanning. Keep glancing around. See if we can't find the enemy. If not, we could just fly off the map. I mean, there's there's nothing stopping us from doing that. It's just a little bit more annoying. And also, you don't get bonus prestige in the same way because, you know, they're not there. Yeah, that looks like it. So the planet, as it rotates, mostly because we're traveling at a high rate of speed. And yeah, just going to head off into the sunset. Is this the direction to head off into the sunset? 
almost. There's the sunset. Well, not really. There's the little galaxy there, but the line will be in this direction closest. So we'll zip along at maximum power. Unfortunately, I don't think he's following me, so we're going to have to manually drag the Huntress off map. Unless the Huntress suddenly gains a brain, which it might, because it did before. Nope. Um, we need to find, once again, the edge of the map. There it is. Full power. He's doing a speed of 31. Able to actually go to his maximum speed, unlike us, who uh, is incapable of doing such things. And there we go. Mission complete. Everybody got off the map nice and safely. No danger at all. So let's see how much prestige that one's worth. I can't imagine much. I mean, it was basically an empty mission. And 100 prestige. Yep. <laughs> That's pretty much enough to cover the repair cost that we automatically take. Although a little bit less than normal. Uh... That's a large cage monster. We got a BRH, which is a heavy raider. And an, another large cage monster. Yeah, not seeing not seeing the uh, Godfathers. Not that we could buy it even if we did see them. We're currently uh, tapped out for cash. And a mission right on here. Another convoy raid. Hopefully we'll actually gain this. Hopefully it's not because we're, we've got a monster that is not letting us gain this mission. I don't think that's the case. So, we are on board and ready to rock full power going on here we are in a long distance position barely able to see the convoy off in the distance and escorted today by the pain giver all one word apparently who is equipped with uh, two photon torpedoes a single missile launcher and then two for six phaser x's and two phaser threes along with an anti-missile defense system and i'm seeing a q ship so we've got a freighter a freighter and a freighter so and another freighter so we've got a couple of armored freighters here but i'm not seeing anything actually dangerous to us we're going to come in here, buff that forward shield, just so we can hurt ourselves too much on explosions. But from what I'm seeing, the enemy is, uh, well, not here. I don't see any ships not going on the standard course, so this may be a completely undefended convoy. If so, I'm a little confused as to why they are here. So we're going to focus on uh, the FTX-2. This one doesn't, because they're the, they're the armored freighters. They have better defenses than the rest of the group. So you're dead. And that was a waste of a scatter pack, which is a waste of six missiles. And then you're about to, to die. Get the range, hit him everything you got. There we go. Come around here to another one of the little ones. And four weapons are about to come online. Blast him. Unfortunately, not enough firepower to kill him. Uh, if we curl back into the range of fire, oh, 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 never mind. You got him. Fire everything into you. Uh, phaser X is not, or phaser four is not shooting. Oh, there you are. There's the last of the armored raiders. Yes, they are the target because they're a little bit tougher normally but you know when you've got phaser fours toughness is a bit relative so now we're gonna finish off the fql this was supposedly the uh, defender of the convoy unfortunately he didn't seem to activate until we were already killed half the convoy and there's a convoy as the monster just rips through everything not a chance for the enemy anywhere destroyed all the freighters and i suppose he's a defender Let's see how much prestige that one's worth 150, not bad. We'd like more, but, and finally, the tile's been neutralized. Excellent. So we're going to pop up here. We're going to quickly come into a supply. Another 3 and 51. Then we're going to here, here, and into the nebula. Why? Because it's a nebula. It's difficult to fight. So we're going to go on mission right on here. It's a convoy raid, so not a bad mission to get. Nah. Actually, that depends on how aggressive that convoy is going to be. If the convoy dies like they normally do... Then great, but if not, well, we got a whole bunch of freighters in here. Not a real escort. We've got the power word, an excellent ship to be on our side, as long as it's power word kill, as well as the wrecker, who is way off, but also equipped with a hilarious amount of firepower. Holy crap, that's an S and two G type tor plasma torpedoes. Now, normally for a heavy cruiser, that's actually kind of on the light side, but you know we're pirate faction. We we don't get much of that. So, yeah, we're just going to launch ourselves at these freighters, do as much damage as we can. Are you coming in our direction? You are not. You're traveling this way towards the wrecker. Increase the speed of time. May as well. Or are you? Are you traveling in this direction, actually? Yeah, okay, okay. And there's the Q-ship here for the full-on defense of the group. We're actually going to come with the, the four and the two just to really mess with their, with their sensory systems. I want them confused, which I think we're going to accomplish no problem at all. Set down the speed up time because we're zipping along in here. He's doing a speed of 18, but he is just a Q ship. Triple Hellbore shots, all of them missed. So uh, this HBR is actually a pretty cool ship. Missiles only effective in close range in this nebula. 
And land to him, cause a whole bunch of damage. I was hoping to stun more systems, but we didn't kill him. Kill him before he can hurt us. Uh, still haven't killed him. Surprisingly tough little Q-ship there. Probably some extra reinforcements inside the cargo hull, making him less susceptible to collapsing and exploding. And we're just gonna steady on as we go. He's down to a speed of four, so he ain't much of a danger anymore. And we've managed to knock the, uh, the defense ship down to a two from a three. And, uh, we've got our own as a pretty full defense. Actually, let's go full with the ECCM, see if we can't cut through this a little bit better. Because if we can, then hooray. That'll do it with you. And then uh, a couple of point blank range weapons on there. The stern firing weapons will get involved there. That's another one down. The Q ship is mostly a wreck. Yep, the Q ship is gone. And you're the next ship. Oh, these so many of these these third party armored freighters. I really do consider them to be third third party contractors because the official freighters actually like share the same sort of design cues. So I'm guessing these are like independent merchantmen. At least that's sort of the head cannon I'm running off of at this point. Uh, big phasers, fire everything. More, if you've got it? Do I not have too many shots on this side? Oh, uh, they must be waiting for the stern firing weapons to get aligned. And more. Oh, we're not in Gatling phaser range, period. Interesting. Uh, two missiles, one petered out, and the other one made it all the way in. Not bad. We are now getting shot at by the question mark, question mark, question mark. I still haven't managed to get in and uh, fix that name as of yet, but we are working on it. And we're steadily going to curl in around down here. We've basically got him dead to rights. I don't think he's got to survive. Uh, you... You I could kill. In fact, I'm going to do that. Let's actually increase the speed of time. We may as well. There is pretty much no defense left. It's just us bullying freighters. And try to keep the range a little bit so we don't hurt ourselves too badly when he explodes since we don't regenerate shields, I don't think. Two more missiles. Two good hits. And that'll do that. So, a uh, convoy group obviously ran into trouble in the middle of a nebula. Had no idea what was happening before their ships came apart around them. No no uh, response was sent out, no request for aid. They were helpless before us. 170 prestige is not bad at all. Uh, unfortunately, uh, actually, did we? Yeah, we took the towel. Good. Okay, so we don't have to worry about nebula battles anymore. Which is always nice. Patch that, fix that, map here, come onto the planet. Keep the pressure going. We want to slowly encircle and annihilate. Uh, not that time, but this tab. Another patrol operation. Excellent. I think we've pushed up into Marak space, so we're going to have to be a little bit more careful about that. Uh, though it does tell us that we're fighting Lyrans. And there he is, a single light cruiser off in the distance. Okay, not a challenge. Full power to engines. And also we're going to go in here to uh, the forward shield. Makes it a maximum reinforcement right on in there. According to the fleet screen, he is a CWFX. Uh, not sure. Don't really care. Don't expect... I don't think he's a tender, because he doesn't have a T in the name, but he might be. A lot of ships start getting tender systems. He's escorted by a freighter. Alright, so... So we didn't get ambushed or anything spe special on this. I thought for a second this was an enemy battle cruiser instead of my friend. I was like, we didn't get ambushed. Oh, wait, we did. Okay, so he does have a couple of ships. I'm assuming those are, um... Those are, like, the latched onto the side tender ship. He's gone full power on that expanding spirit generator. And we took it all there, and then we tried to angle on through. Keep that forward shield up. Keep that forward shield up. Oh, we're getting good hits on through with the PPD. A nice little combination in there. And more power, more power. Get those engines running too. He's back down to below 15. He's down to 12.9. And I don't think he's got any po point defense for those missiles. He's only got his tractor beam, which if that goes down, well, that's a large missile that's going to hit him. He doesn't really have much of a shield there either. So I'm just waiting for this phaser 4 to recycle because once it does, he's basically ghost. And... The pseudo frigates running into our point defense group. Unfortunately, not doing quite as much damage as I had hoped with those phaser cores, but it did take out his point of defense. And there we go. The light cruiser's down. And now we can bully this FHL, which I'm assuming just has a phaser 2 and a phaser 3. Am I correct in that? We're going to have to get a little bit closer before we actually find out. A phaser 2 and a phaser 3. Excellent. So I am identifying something. Did a little bit of damage and the rest of the damage. There we go. Bing, bang, boom, and done. Just continuing to lay the pressure on. We want to see if we can't push them back as soon as we can. Because that's how you have fun. By winning. And how much prestige is that going to be worth? Can't be much. 172 is actually more than I thought it was going to be. I was expecting something in 92. We did take that tile, which is wonderful. And uh, another little fix all that. And missions. We'll pop on a patrol. See if we can't end this as quickly as possible. 
We're up to 980 prestige, although we're probably going to need around 5,000 if we run into a Godfather class dreadnought. Uh, nothing on the long range scanners yet, but we'll probably change shortly. Pick up the speed to full. Look at the shield reinforcement to the maximum, and depending on what we run into, we'll decide whether or not we use the ECM system. Because if it's little and tiny, I'd rather have just the straight up protection of the uh, of the forward shield being buffed. And we've got two heavy cruisers. They're Marak heavy cruisers. That's important because that means missiles. Uh, and they are both actual heavy cruisers. So we're looking at a CCX and a BCX or a BCV. So we've got a battleship carrier or battle cruiser carrier, which actually is going to be really nasty. Interesting. Okay, we're going to focus and not use the Phaser Gs because we're going to need those for point defense. They're going to have a lot of missiles, or at least a decent number. Yeah, this portrait here is telling me that this ship is a actual carrier, even though it doesn't quite look like one. I'm going to go shielding to 360 degrees, mainly because I can't keep a front shot on him. I do want to focus on the heavy cruiser. Rather, I want to focus on his fighters, although if he's going to curl in on me that tightly, I might get a good shot off before his friends show up. Two of the shots missed from that CCX, or from the uh, PPD into the CCX. Point blank range and phase ones or phase fours. I don't want to invest the Gatling phasers yet. In fact, I'm going to quickly go one, two, three, four. Set those up as two, and then one, two, three, four. Uh, set those up as three. So one is fours, two is ones, and four is the Gatlings. That way, we don't accidentally use the Gatlings when we don't want to, because we need them for the point defense. I think he knows it. He is really laying into us with his energy armor. He did just open fire though with everything, so I'm gonna take a shot if I can get it. Uh, managed to cut through, we need to pull away. We need to get a little bit of distance going on at this point so that we uh, don't expose ourselves too badly. Also, try not to run into this asteroid. Uh, it's a small asteroid, but it is big enough to break us. So we are gonna scroll out a little bit. Show me your fighters, you've gotta have more than that. This can't, yeah, there they are, okay. So Battlecruiser Carrier carrying eight fighters. I think I'm going to focus on them for a little bit because that'll that'll take out their annoying amounts of damage. Bizlas. And hit them with... Uh, there we go. And then all weapons select here. Just pump rounds into them. Excellent. Okay, so we've dealt with the fighters already. Which means they're now just down to their missiles and their heavy weapons. As long as we stay at our speed of 25, we're fine for the missiles. Uh, which just means we have to worry about the disruptors. Which, admittedly, disruptors can be pretty rough. Uh, I'm thinking, actually, of slowing down the ship a little bit, because I don't need all that much speed. Yeah, we're going to slow down a little bit more, get us down to about 20, and that'll give us some additional power into the defensive shields. So we're going to set our shields over to port side only, and then I'm just going to continue to shell you, pretty much. So as long as we keep our shields basically balanced between these two, uh, shields here. We should have a pretty decent protection. That'll be seven points of energy. Although he is coming in closer to me and I don't want to allow that. Phaser ones. Hit him from low range. See if we can't knock down that forward shield. Not quite working out how I wanted to. Uh, the battle cruiser carrier is pretty dangerous if we, uh, if we just leave him there. And unfortunately I don't have a whole lot of choices in this. Because this disruptor fire is just being pin pinpoint accurate here. Yeah, that, that's knocking down the shield slowly but surely. we got to drop more speed, I think. Now, we're actually going to come in, drop a little bit more, put two points of VCM here. I need the defenses. And his his disruptors are just being on point this whole time. Uh, I don't want to fire the phaser four into that. I want to fire the phaser four into you. I want to focus on you as much as possible. we got 33 points of energy in that shield now. Okay. So we can be a little bit more aggressive. Unfortunately, this shield is not going to regenerate. So hit him with the phaser four, slowly curl on in. Once we can get our Gatling phasers involved in this, we can really rip him to pieces. Although we do have to be very careful because he will be firing all of his missiles the moment we open up with our Gatling phasers because he'll know we won't have any point defense. We have no tractor beams, we don't have any wild weasels. We rely on these Gatling phasers for point, point blank fire. I think within a range of 10, I'm gonna start firing the phasers. We just gotta keep this range staying here. We get close, we'll get in trouble. If we stay out at range, we'll be just fine. So every time we fire our weapons, we lose a lot of energy. I'm gonna cut the capacitor because I'm not using that much energy at a time. So I don't I don't need the super high charge rates that the capacitor's trying to give me, because I'm not using the Gatling phasers, and I'm not using about half my normal phasers. So keep them at this range. This is a perfectly acceptable range to be at. We have a reasonable defense going on, so long as they don't get too much damage on through with the phaser group. And we've got an attack shift of one. 
So hi, Electronic Warfare, I need you to get rid of that. Ah, uh, that, that got through our front. They're starting to, starting to get through, which is not good. I'm gonna have to focus on this BCV if that's, that's the case. So prepare the Phaser Fours once again. We are putting 29.5 points of energy into these two shields, which is should be covering us pretty well. Although, with our range of 10, we can now actually see his shields. I don't want to, but I'm going to have to. And Phaser 1's... There we go. Cut through. We've now knocked out one of his shields. Unfortunately, he's also plinking away at ours as well. And uh, we don't have as many options, because they're going to keep spreading us out. If he drags behind, he'll be able to hold our front, uh, our front open arc into his shots. Yeah, they're just plinking away, doing a pretty good job of it, too. Waiting for those phase reports to come back online. We do need to take a piece off these cruisers. We need something to shut off on them. Or at least take away their engines. I could overload, but I don't think that would work out for us in the long run because we can't fix ourselves. So the phase of fours are ready to go again. And he's actually running away from us at a higher speed than we can maintain. So we'll fire the phase of four back here. All the phase of ones as well. We've got some shots in. There we go. His speed's starting to drop. He's now to 15.2, down from 20, which is really working out for me. Although, if he stays in that position, we're going to have some, a little bit of a problem. Not a huge one, just a little bit. I don't want to focus on you. I want to be able to ignore you for a bit, so I'm going to actually do that. We're going to flat out ignore the, CCA, the CCX. We're going to set the reinforcement back to 360 degrees, and we're going to focus on this BCV. And I think we can get a good shot in... Like a nice close range assault, we can probably cut him basically in half in one go. But I do need to get towards that front. We're going to try and get as close as we can before he pulls that front bow away. Wait for it. Oh, he turned back into me. Excellent. Okay, I can work with that. I can work with that. There we go. 56 damage on through. And we're now deploying our Galling phases at point one range. Getting a lot of damage in through with that one. He is cutting down some of my shields, which is not great. But... We, we've dealt a nice big blow to him. He's down to a speed of 8 point knot, which means he's having trouble. He also didn't fire any missiles, which he may be out. I don't think they should be this early. They are, after all, Merak vessels and have a ton of missiles, but he didn't fire anything at me, and he knew my Gatling phasers were down. All right, we're going to get another big barrage going on. As much damage as we can. We're also going to maximize the uh, recovery rate. Phaser force first, because i got to have them get through. Everything else... The last on in there, Phaser 1s, and that's really close. I'm expecting the hind claws to attack as soon as, yep, there they go, and they've managed to cut right through, which is not great at all. We need to be very careful, because we can't repair anything, and because we don't get shields back, uh, we, we can easily get ourselves overwhelmed. Even though we've managed to cause a lot of damage to them, we don't have any defenses anymore. The armor is all we're relying on, and we don't have a whole ton of that. We're also relying a little bit on our ECM. Which works out pretty well for us, but it's dangerous. Phaser 4 is going to come out another time, and I'm going to fire before his phasers. I was hoping to get the shot in so that he wouldn't be able to protect against that. Give him a range of 3. Come on, all weapons. There we go. Dot him onto the CCX. Feeling a little bit better now. Just going to plink away. What shield do I have left? So we're going to max you and you to the full reinforcement. And if he curls in on me, we've got a good opportunity to blitz through anything that he's going to send my way. So we're just going to wait until he pulls in close enough. He's trying to disengage from that. No, he's not. He doesn't seem to want to commit. But he is perfectly happy to allow me on that shield for obvious reasons. There, that's what I was expecting. I've been waiting for that. So we'll let the Gatling phasers take care of it. And yep, they took care of all, all of them try and blast through. We are sort of shooting at longer-ish longer -ish range, uh, but it seems to be working out okay. We're not getting a lot of damage on through, but we are steadily grinding him down. And once we start really knocking down shields, we'll be in a great spot. I'm going to pull him out of formation, make him make whatever he moves he needs to make to be aggressive, because I don't want him having to hold an open shield towards them. So we're coming in. We've got the Phaser Force back online, and he is dancing remarkably close. And through there, that'll be another 23 damage. Still haven't managed to get a good piece of his engines just yet, although we are hoping for it soon. We do need to stay outside of our range of three to keep away from those hind claws of his. Although now we're in a very aggressive position. He does still have major exit to shoot out towards the back. And who's that shooting at? Uh, my friend here, so our Gatling phases can take care of those. Phaser ones are still setting up. 
and we are able to lock down on this shield. Excellent. So all weapons select once again. We're going to wait until they fully charge. Still looking a little bit closer than I want to be. I don't want to get within that range of three without really having caused some massive damage to those hind claws, but it's not going to be an option to team. Because I can't really turn away, especially now that, not that we're so close to each other. He still does have his hind claws, right? And we have managed to knock him down to eight, and we're just steadily blasting away at this point. I think we've got him. I mean, I'm 99% positive we've got him. You never know, we could suddenly explode randomly. It has happened to us before. But I think that won't happen until after he does. He's opened fire with all his missiles. I don't have any Gatling phasers facing this way, but he decided not to shoot me. He decided to shoot my friend, which allowed my stern frag Gatling phaser to get involved. And there we go, finally. Oh, that was a heck of a fight right there. And I'll be putting up quite the battle when you have to fight a carrier and heavy cruiser in a ship that does not regain, well, anything. But we did manage to pull it off, and hopefully that'll be a neutralized tile. One can dream. 300 prestige for our trouble, and no, the tile's not neutral. So we're going to have to keep the efforts going on up there. We'll patch you, patch you. But that's definitely going to wrap up the episode for right there. We are starting to turn the screws in on the Tiger Heart Cartel. I've been Tarek. If you like what you've been seeing, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to receive a notification every time I release one of these videos, press that little bell icon, leave a comment, and I will see you all in the next episode.